Good evening, everyone. I, I want to welcome you back to the midweek uh, devotion. Today is the 15th of September, and I am going to be talking about what uh, Pastor Very preached on on Sunday. On Sunday, Pastor Very preached on eternity focused service. This was the end of the series on death, grief, and the glory of God. On, on this subject of, uh, of eternity-focused services, I would like us to start with the vision of the believer. The end goal of every believer is heaven. With, with the believers focused on, on, on heaven, we can now see what are the activities that the believer does. And Paul gives us um, the best example of what that is. He says in Philippians 1 from verse 20 uh, to 26. I'm not going to read the whole thing from 20 to 26, but I will come back to it. I am convinced that now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. So let's go a little further. He then says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So for, for Paul, the actions of his body was to glorify God in the flesh. When you and I are in Christ, we are a new creation. And we, we read that in 2 uh, Corinthians 5, verse 17. The old has passed, and behold, the new has come. So the vision of the end goal of this new creation, this new body of myself, of yourself in Christ, the vision is heaven. And so the action or the services of the body should be offering an eternity-focused service. Let's, let's look at what Jesus says in um, John 9 verse, verse 4. When he was with the blind man, this is what Jesus said. As long as it is day, we must do the works of the one who sent me. My father is always at work, and as a result, I'm always working. This is Jesus talking. His focus was on heaven. In his flesh, when he was on earth, his focus was eternity. Paul was very clear about this. And when he says um, in 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verse 16, not 17, I'm talking of 16. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view any longer. Even though we regarded Christ according to the, to the, to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Verse 17 says, when you are in Christ, you are a new creation. And verse 16 says, we do not regard you from a human point of view any longer. Why? Because now you are a new creation and your focus is now different. You are focused on heaven and the kingdom of God. Paul goes on to say, we are ambassadors for Christ. God working his appeal through us. Remember, when we have been made, we have been made the righteousness of God through Christ's death when he died for us. So our Father in heaven is working all the time. And so 
should we? We should also be working all the time. And all the time, our focus is heaven. Ambassadors do nothing for themselves. They do everything to please their head of state, their head of kingdom. They are even fed by the kingdom. We are doing everything to please our Father who is in heaven, our Father who is God. Paul, in first, uh, Philippians 1 verse 21, he says, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And then he goes on to say, you know, I don't know which one to choose. I, I, I cannot choose whether to live or to die. He says, I am hard pressed between the two. But my desire is to be with Christ, which is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Then he says, for that reason, I shall remain in the flesh because I will be doing a service for my God. So his focus was heaven. He says he would have been happier in heaven to be with Christ. But because it was necessary to continue to do the work of God on earth, he then preferred to do a lot of service for him on earth. So what does death do to us? It actually transitions us from glory when, where we are from, from glory here on earth, where we are ambassadors um, for God, and we are being transitioned to heaven, where we are citizens. So we are transitioning from glory to glory. And to be with our Father, our Father God in heaven. In 2 Corinthians uh, 5, from verse 8 to 10, so we are always of good courage that while we are at home in this body, we are away from the Lord. For we want, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage and we would rather be away from this body and be at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or whether we are away, we make it our aim to please the Lord. So the believer's life glorifies God in the flesh and also glorifies God in death. So being eternity focused affects what we do here and now in this body. So fin finally, let us go to Philippians 4 and verse 8 to the end of the passage. Finally, brothers and sisters, whether whatever is true, Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned, what you have received, what you have heard, and what you have seen in me, Practice these things, and the God of peace be with you now and forevermore. Thank you for listening to this midweek service. We'll see you again next week.